FYZ4K here, welcome back to another one. What the heck is going on here? I'm your twin brother of course. Why are you dressed like that for? I'm dressed like this because it's Ramadan. Duh. Makes sense, makes sense. So, wait, wait. Are you talking to the folks here or am I talking? Yeah, no, I, this is my channel, so I'm gonna be talking here. All right, do your thing. So today we're gonna be doing a tutorial on how to clone yourself in Final Cut Pro. Let's sit down and let's create some magic. Now that should be interesting. Let's take a look. All right, so here we go. We got Final Cut Pro launched and I have the two clips in my tray over here. So the first clip is of me talking to my twin and here is my twin responding back to me. Now I've already gone ahead and done a bit of color grading. The first step is we're gonna take the second clip here. We are gonna take this clip and we're gonna bring it below the first clip, just like so, okay? Now, once we got these two clips on top of each other, like so, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure the first clip is selected and within our effects section right over here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go under mask and I'm going to click, click masks. Once you click masks, you'll see a few selections over here that you can choose from. We're going to say draw mask. Once you have draw mask selected, okay, we're going to drag and drop this on top of the first clip. Okay. And we want to make sure that draw mask is selected at the top here with a check mark. You already noticed that you have like this pen tool. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut out myself from everything else. So pretty much uh, start off at the top here. Okay. We'll connect it. There you go. And we need to just make sure that the colors match. So I'm just going to go ahead and quickly fix that up and then I'll show you how everything looks once that's done. So when my twin came in, the light box casted a shadow, which then kind of disturbed the lighting. That was the issue there. So depending on the, the type of lighting you have set up, it can be either quite an easy task or it can be a bit of a challenging task. I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial today. It was a lot of fun and very challenging, but I had to share this with you guys. So do try this out if you haven't tried it out. Comment below, let me know your thoughts, or if you've done this before, I'd love to hear from you as well. And I'll leave you guys at that. So, please remember to smash that subscribe button, hit the bell notification so you guys are up to date on my uploads, and we will catch you guys on the next one. Take care.